Today, we're making a giant Christmas ornament that measures almost 10 feet tall. This giant ornament is the perfect addition to your Christmas decorations, and all the materials and items I used are shown in the video and linked in the description below. So join me for this awesome Christmas tutorial. To begin making our eight foot giant Christmas ornament, we need insulation foam board. Now for this project, we're gonna need two boards. These boards measure four feet by eight feet by two inches thick. Now they make different size boards, but you need to get the one that is two inches thick. Also, this board does come in a pink color, that's totally fine, as long as it's this very dense closed cell foam board. So next, we're gonna align both of these boards together because we need to draw a big circle for the ornament. We could use plywood for this, but the surface of plywood is very rough, so it wouldn't give us the smooth finish. And if we used board that is smooth, it would be very pricey. Not that this board isn't pricey, which it is, but I always like using foam board because of its versatility and it's lightweight and it's great to cut and just mold with. So that's why I go with this one. So let's put both boards together and then we're going to draw a big circle, cut it out. We're going to not glue these together right now. We're going to combine them once we're done painting them, once we're done doing all of the details, that's when we'll combine them. For right now, let's just place them side by side. I wanted to take a quick moment to mention the first book I've written. It's called Little Olive and the Wally Bat, and it's available on Amazon via paperback or Kindle. It's rated for kids ages two to six years old, and it follows a brave little olive that gets lost and is found by a very helpful brown bat. If anyone wants to support me or read it to their little ones, go check it out, Little Olive and the Wally Bat on Amazon. Now let's get back to this amazing tutorial. All right, so we have our nylon string. We've measured right in the middle, which would be four feet. And gently, we're simply gonna push the screw inside. And now we have our string and we can come all the way to the edge. You can bring the nylon string all the way to this corner over here, because when you come this way, it's going to be too long. See if you go like this. So it needs to be on the shortest distance, which will be about four feet. But then we're gonna get our marker. We're gonna tie up the marker to the end of this line, just like this. And then we're gonna keep it nice and tight and we're gonna go like that. But see, it's too far there. So it needs to be further like this. All right, to project our Santa on our board, this is the printout I have. I'm going to include this same printout that I have as a Google Doc link. You can hit more on the video below and there should be a downloadable link where you can print this out. Then we have our Easy Tracer. I use this all the time. It's available on Amazon. Definitely recommend getting it. You put a LED light bulb inside. You put this on a flat surface like this and then it'll project the image, whatever you printed out, onto the surface in front of you. This is what we have now that we've finished. We made the reins that are attached to the reindeer, we made it thicker so that it could be one continuous piece, but if you didn't wanna do it this way, you could easily just project individual reindeers and then cut them out and then string them along with maybe a thick rope. But I think this way it'll be really nice. I can hide the LED lights nicely behind everything. It's one continuous piece. I think it came out good. So now let's go use our jigsaw. We're using a regular wood cutting blade and let's knock this out. So I finished cutting it, but I want to show you something. As you can see, I didn't actually follow the exact outline that I had with the markers, and that was because I realized that this area over here of the reindeers would not be thick enough because this is wood. 
So while you're cutting it, take some liberties. You don't have to follow the exact measurement. You can go, you can make it thicker if you need to. It's gonna be seen from far away, so you can't really notice the details unless you're really close to it. All right, so now that we have it cut out, we need to prime it, then paint it. I'm using this Rust-Oleum primer. It's spray paint that you put on there, but make sure you do not use spray paint on insulation foam board. It will eat away at it. So I just put it up here to show you how it looks like. And as you can see, here's the line that divides it. Right there, you wanna make sure that your Santa sleigh goes right over that line. So we're gonna prime it first, and then this one we're going to paint, but we've changed things up a little bit. So this is gonna be painted red. We're gonna paint this a nice red color. So first you wanna paint it white with either a primer or white paint and then paint it red. After which we're going to prime this with this primer and then we're going to paint it white. So you can go with any color you like, but these are the colors that I've chosen for this project. All right, now it's time to paint this. We're gonna be using a color red. It's called Radiant Red by Volspar. It's an exterior latex paint. We wanna make sure that this is good for the outside. So use exterior paint. I've already primed this board. So use just a regular white primer to get it nice and coated. And then we're going to use the red paint. I'm probably gonna do two coats so it's nice and even. And we'll give it a couple hours to dry and then we can move on to the next step. For the ornament cap, I'm using a 20 inch planter. You can find these at your local hardware store. I bought this one online simply because it was just a good price. I'm gonna link it below. We're going to spray paint this with paint primer. I have white paint primer. We're gonna spray paint the side we're gonna use. Now, because this is a 2D ornament, I'm gonna be cutting this not even in half. I'm probably gonna be cutting 60% of it off and we're just gonna be using basically the front side of it. So I'm just gonna paint this area here with the primer and after the primer, then we're going to paint it. You can do it silver, you can do it gold. I'm gonna be doing a gold ornament cap and then we need to put something on top of here to put the little wire on top. So let's get to it. All right, so we've cut it in half. We need to fill this area in here with some expanding foam because it's kind of wobbly. It's not very stable. So I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna cover these holes right here with some tape right there. And we're just gonna fill it in with one bottle of foam all over here so it can harden and dry and be a little bit more stable. So this part is really important because this is the back of the ornament and what we're doing will stabilize the ornament when we put it upright. We have one and a half inch PVC. We've cut two pieces to about 44 inches, but we could have got a little bit longer. We could have gone a little bit shorter, but I cut them to 44. We're gonna put them like this in this area. Then we need two pieces of one inch PVC, you see one of them right there. I've cut that one to five feet. The other one I've cut to five feet as well. We're going to put them into the PVC like you see here. So right here, this one's five feet and we're going to put it inside of the PVC and just to about there. We're going to put expanding foam all along this, crisscross it like that in order for it to solidify. And we want it like that so when we pull this up, it has something to anchor itself once both PVC pipes, which are smaller, this is one inch, it goes into it like that. So we've cut these to five feet. I have the other one that's five feet as well. So put them like that and let's start putting Great Stuff Expanding Foam. Be generous. We're probably gonna need four bottles total. One here, one there, one there, and one there. And let's put it and let it dry for several hours. This ornament is slightly tilted upwards. So this line is going slightly upwards. You can't really tell on this video right now, but we're doing that because we want Santa sleigh to be going, Santa being a little bit lower and then the sleigh going upwards. So remember that if you want your Santa sleigh, which has to go along the seam, if you want it to be going up or you want it just to go horizontally, you need to make sure that the line is a little bit higher or, or completely leveled. Right here it's higher. So then these PVC pipes are a little bit off-centered like this, so when we stand it up, it'll be perfect.
A final detail before we start putting all of this together is to put some holographic glitter. Now, this needs to be sprinkled on there while the paint is wet. So I already coated this with two coats of paint, it's dry. So I'm gonna do a third coat of paint right now. I'm gonna paint it and then immediately sprinkle this glitter on top and make sure it, it, it sticks to the paint. You could have done this on the second coat, but I always like doing two solid coats of paint and then doing the details after. So let's do the third coat and as it's wet, sprinkle it on top. All right, so we've painted this section right here and immediately let's start putting the glitter. Just like that. Perfect, and let's keep on moving. We're gonna do the entire thing in sections, but you gotta move fast. You wanna make sure that the glitter adheres to the paint before it starts drying. To attach Santa and the reindeers, we need bolts. Now, all the items I use, I link them directly in the description below. So you can go click on them to see where they are. These are from Lowe's, the sizes you need and where you can find them. So we need these and then we need a cap. This cap is from Great Stuff Expanding Foam. I have so many of them that I always use a cap. And then we need a 3 8 spade bit. Let's see if you can see it. So this one over here is gonna make a hole right on top. We need this as a spacer. It's also going to be just wide enough for this bolt to go through the reindeer and go through the foam board. It sounds complicated, but it's actually not. Let me show you how we put it all together. So look what I've done. Right in the middle of Santa's sleigh, we've put the bolt right through. And then we've made a hole where we want it. So remember, I wanna cover this line a bit. So Santa's gonna go like this, the reindeers are gonna do more of the covering. So once we figure out where we're gonna go, we'll drill it with the spade bit that I just showed you, it's the 3 8 and then the bolt goes in there. But before, before we do any of that, we're gonna need our spacer. We did the hole just like that, this is a great stuff cap, and then with the opening facing the wood, we're going to do it just like this. That way it has some cushion to keep your distance when you put it in there. One last hole we need to make is wherever the end of the plug for the LED lights is. So I've made one right over here. I don't know if you can see it, right here. And this is just gonna go right in there to the other side where we're gonna plug it in. Super easy, you don't have to measure it. You can just see, okay, the hole's gonna go there. We'll drill the hole and we're fine. So we're gonna put it into the hole. You definitely need a second person for this. And just like that, it's inside and there's enough space in between it and you're good to go. To attach our ornament cap to the top of the ornament, we need to make a hole in the foam. Just get a knife and I've cut this piece of PVC to about two and a half, you can do three feet. This is three and a quarter inches thick and after we make a hole, we're just gonna force the PVC in there just like that. Now, why are we doing this? This is going to hold the cap up just like this. This part is going to be glued to the back of the ornament. With the same process we did the other PVC pipes behind it, we're gonna do the same thing. So we just wanted to make sure that it went nicely just like this. So make sure you go to the ornament to make sure that it's going to rest properly because this part is gonna go attached to the back. Let me show you real quick. So for example, if this was the top of your ornament, this is how it would go like this. And you see this pipe right here, this needs to go right there. So we're going to put expanding foam all along this. We're gonna set this down, put expanding foam, but we needed to make the hole in the right place so that it rests just like this. So there's no real signs to where you're gonna make the hole. Just adjust the cap of the ornament to where you want it to be, go up, go down. And once you do it, then mark it, make a hole in there, put this like that. So then I'm gonna get this like this and I'm going to glue it with expanding foam, whichever direction you want. Just remember, it's gonna hold your cap. 
One of the last details we're gonna put on this ornament is this LED battery operated star. Now this comes with an on and off switch and a timer, which I think is pretty awesome. You just put the timer on, set and forget. So this comes with a battery box, so that's why we had to build, uh, cut this big old hole out there. We push the battery box through and we put the wire through it as well. And there's a little hole right over here for a screw or a nail, so we're gonna get a three inch I'm sorry, we're gonna get a two inch or a two and a half inch screw. Put it just like that. We're gonna put the wire inside and we're gonna put the screw right on top. This is super lightweight, so just the screw will hold it really nicely, just like that. And then we're done with that detail. So this part is optional, but we have our easy tracer projector and we printed out some mountain peaks and we're going to project them onto our insulation foam board. Now you don't have to do the mountains. I just thought the mountains would be really nice. We're going to cut them out and then we're gonna paint the mountains white and behind it, we're gonna stick LED lights like we did with our Santa. So let's project it. You can also freehand it. I'm just not really good at freehanding it. And we'll cut it out with our jigsaw. Also, if you wanna use the same mountains that I'm using, I'm gonna be linking a PDF file to these mountain tops. So you can just print it out, get yourself a projector and then project it onto your insulation foam board.